Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Open the hood, the wreath down, pull the release. Located far down here by your left foot where it would rest. Pull it open, release the secondary latch, just push up on it, lift it up, lift down for a second. The hood has two positions, normal position, and then if you open it further, there is a second service position here. I'll put it there for now. Remove the eight push clips from the upper grill cover. To start on one side, pry it up with a small plastic screwdriver, pry it up with a small flat bladed screwdriver, pry up in the middle, it unlocks the clip, and you pry up on the outside to unlock it. You may need to get a trim clip tool that can help to unlock it. Pull it right out. Just repeat that for all of them. The last one here. Pull this cover off, it slides behind the grill, just lift it up, slide it out from the chrome grill and from underneath the fenders, slide it off of the safety lock and put it aside. I'm going to lift the vehicle up to get to the clips under the bumper. You could do this with the vehicle on the ground, but in order to show you, we're going to put it up in the lift so it's easier to see. On both sides of the car, there's a Phillips head screw up in this recessed opening. We're going to remove that. Repeat that for the other side. There are 10 push clips on the front edge of the bumper. These are removed just like the ones up top. Use a small flat bladed screwdriver. Push out the middle. And then pry them out of the bumper. They get filled up with dirt. Sometimes they're hard to unlock. Just uh, pry them open with the Small flat bladed screwdriver, then get the trim clip tool in there. Kind of work them open. Work along the edge, find all the clips, pull them out. They might break. You might have to replace them. They get brittle with age. Front bumper is sitting on two pins on either side. Just kind of pop it up like that. And over here, that's the front. Now it'll come to one side and pull it straight out. It's gonna sound like it's breaking, but you're just pulling it off of the clips. Just work it down around the headlight. Make sure it's off of that pin, it doesn't pop back on. Do the same for the other side. Give it a bit of a swift tug. And now I'm going to get off those pins, support it, and pull it up straight off of the vehicle. Both horns are located right in the front behind the bumper. They both remove in the same exact way. The 12 millimeter head bolt here. Use a 12 millimeter socket extension and ratchet. This one is the low side. Push it in the lock. Unplug it. It'll be the same for both. Plug it back in. Put it right back in the original spot. Get the bolt caught. There's a little pushed up piece of sheet metal here so the bracket can't be tilted. It wants to line up straight up and down. Tighten it back up. 
the horn is replaced. We'll reinstall the bumper, go straight on with it. It does have some pins right here that it's going to sit on for both sides. Helps keep it from falling off. Get the bumper lined up in the brackets. Push it right in, snap it in place. Do the same for both sides. Push the fender liner up in behind the bumper, just like that. Install this Phillips head screw so the bumper doesn't fall off. While I put the push clips back in. Really get tight, I'll just stop. Do the same for this side. go along the bumper now and reinstall all the push clips I removed. Push them back into place. If you have broken ones, you will replace them. Put the last one in. Now reinstall this upper cover. Put it over the little rubber bumpers. Then this part goes behind the grill. Just kind of have to bend it, and flex it. Slides in like that. Do the same for both sides. Place all the push clips, put the push clips in. Put the hood down. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.